Hi, I'm Kristen Bell, and I am going to rewatch some scenes from throughout my career. Okay. The window was open, so's that door. I didn't know they did that anymore. Who knew we owned 8,000 salad plates? For years I've roamed these empty halls. Why have a ballroom with no balls? How did we get that joke in there? Come on! We slid it under the radar. It almost didn't make it in. But then we were like, what are you talking about? That's not what it means. Don't be a perv. I had always dreamed, as many people do, of being involved in a Disney animation film. They're so formidable in your life when you're young. And I was obsessed with them. And I remember sitting in my living room and on my, like, you know, old boombox, like, recording myself singing The Little Mermaid, just, like, in case I ever needed that tape. And I mean, like, tape, right? When I finally got the opportunity, I was thrilled. And it occurred to me that I would do anything they asked me to. But what I should be valiantly striving for is to create a character that I really needed to see when I was 11 years old, which was someone like this character. Thankfully, they let me do it. I said, all the Disney princesses stand like this. Their hands are always perfect. Their posture's perfect. I want her to be the opposite. I want her to wake up with drool in her mouth, and I want her to snore, and I want her to talk too much and too fast and wear her heart on her sleeve and trip over things. And, like, the real quirk for a girl who is lovable but not as put together. And thankfully, this whole experience was really collaborative. And some of those things they wrote in, and others they didn't. And they let me kind of take the reins. Like, the waking up sequence. She was just waking up normally, and I said, can I add some snorts? Can you add some drool? Can I, can I make this very realistic and kind of dorky? And they were open to all of it. And I still get such a sense of joy when I see it because I'm very proud. And you've said in the past that your daughters didn't like Frozen. Mm -hmm. Now that they're older, do they appreciate it now? They certainly appreciate it in the fact that they can go to college because of it, but they're not part of the Frozen phenomenon because kids are meant to make you feel grounded and they are meant to reject things that their parents are involved in. Even if they secretly liked it a lot, they would never tell me. For the first time in forever, I'm such a fool, I can't do I love working with Adina. She's so wildly talented. The funny thing about these movies is that we don't usually record together. I'd say maybe 85% of it was recorded separately. You're not even hearing the other actor when you're recording. You're listening to the director read their lines. So you kind of have to know the other actor really well and just like make it all up in your head. But there was one song we recorded together, which was my favorite part of recording this movie, which was the scene where Anna visits Elsa in the ice castle and we got to sing in the booth together. And there's just an energy there that's different when you're recording live with someone and I just adore her.